Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Ashley. Today, I just wanted to do like a casual get ready with me style video. I've been kind of MIA for a while, so I'm just gonna like let you guys know where I've been, what I've been up to, catch up with you all, and what's going on in your lives. And yeah, so if you guys enjoy this video, please show it some love and give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out so much and I really appreciate it. And also, if you like me and if you want to hang out here more on YouTube, then go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. It is absolutely free to do so. And yeah, we can just be friends and connect here on the interweb. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have already washed my face and applied my... Why am I clapping my hands so much? I don't know. <laughs> I feel so out of like practice because I haven't filmed in so long but yeah anyway I've already washed my face I have applied my moisturizer and SPF and I have some aquaphor on my lips to keep them nice and hydrated so yeah anyway let's go ahead and let's just do our let's do our eyeshadow first I'm feeling like I might go a little bit more colorful so I want to make sure that I prevent any fallout from ruining my base but yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna take this NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Base. I've actually been testing this out. I've only used it a couple times. It is a really thin consistency and it's kind of sticky. It doesn't really have much color or coverage, so if that's what you're looking for, I don't think you're gonna like this. But if you just want something that is gonna be like lightweight, not really weigh down your lids, and it's gonna really adhere to your eyeshadows I think you might like it like I said I'm still testing it out so I'll get back to you guys but so far so good so the reason why I have been MIA for a while is because honestly I was just feeling a little bit uninspired for a while and also if I don't mention what I'm using I'm gonna have everything listed in the description box down below just in case you're interested but yeah if I'm like in the middle of story and I forget to say what I'm using then that's where you can find it. But yeah, I was just feeling a little bit uninspired. I felt like my videos were a little bit repetitive. Like I felt like I was just doing the same thing over and over again. And I also, like I love reviewing products for you guys. And you know, I love makeup. I love testing out new things. I love letting you guys know what I'm loving, what I think. But sometimes like focusing only on the product can be a little bit tiring and it kind of like takes away from my love of makeup like sometimes I just want to play with makeup and I don't want to like focus on how much something is or you know I don't know how it performs because I feel like products can perform different for every person I thought I kind of feel like I was like a commercial almost or like I don't know I just was feeling a little bit uninspired from just focusing on products all the time. I hope that makes sense. The second reason why I have been MIA is because I actually had COVID for a while. It lingered for about three weeks, I would say. I'm totally fine. Everyone in my family is fine, thank God. And I, you know, I know not everyone is as fortunate, but for us, we're all relatively young my kids are very young they had it and they're fine they actually recovered the quickest out of anybody out of all of us my husband had it I had it our whole family had it we're all doing fine now we're all negative now basically it's just at least for our family and for my body and you know my husband's body and stuff it really was just like a really intense flu I was having really bad migraines and I was super dizzy like there was a day when I couldn't even stand up without the whole world going like Ooh. I couldn't walk because I was afraid I was gonna fall over I was so tired like all the time I just slept I could like I would like wash the dishes and then I that was like my energy for the whole day I'd have to like go back to sleep and just lay on the couch we, we were just like couch potatoes for pretty much the whole month of August because we just literally could not do anything. And there was nights when my body temperature was really weird. So like I'd be really hot and then really cold and my whole body was aching. The muscle aches were terrible. 
I had to like lay on my bathroom floor because I just couldn't get comfortable. I was too hot in my bed. I got in the bath to make my body feel better. It was just, it wasn't fun. I still can't smell anything either. Like, it's so weird. I don't even have a stuffy nose anymore, but somehow I can't smell anything. And like, at first I thought it was like kind of a good thing because then I couldn't like smell my baby's like stinky diapers, you know, it happens. We all love our babies, but their poop, oh, their poop can be a little bit stinky sometimes. So it was like, yeah, this isn't so bad. It's actually kind of nice because I can't smell that funky, funky funk. But <laughs> now I am really missing my smell because I can't smell my coffee anymore. I tried to light a fall candle the other day and I couldn't even smell it. You know, fall is not the same if you can't smell a fall candle. And <laughs> obviously I know I'm being silly because some people had it way worse and like if I lose my sense of smell forever like I'm lucky and blessed and it's fine <laughs> I'm just no I'm just telling you guys I'm just glad that we got through it and we're all healthy and God has blessed us and we are doing well and my kids are healthy and doing well as well another weird thing that happened because of COVID was my eye, I don't know if you guys noticed in like my last couple of videos, this eye over here was so jacked up. Like it just randomly got super red. And at first I was worried that it was like pink eye or something, but it wasn't super crusty. It wasn't like itchy or anything. And I've never had pink eye before. So I really didn't know like what to look for, but it was really red. It was really tender it was just not going away so I just recently went to my eye doctor and he gave me some medications and it seems to be doing a lot better so I'm really happy about that thank God we also had my husband's parents around they live pretty close to us so they were such angels and they were bringing us like groceries and medicine my mother-in-law bought me like every single kind of cough drop in the grocery store <laughs> near our house she is such a sweet lady she's so wonderful she's such a good 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 genuinely sweet and caring person and my father-in-law was dropping was helping too he's wonderful they were praying for us and i feel like that obviously helped us a lot Obviously we didn't want to get anyone else sick, so we were just stuck at home um, pretty much the whole month. We were getting a little bit, you know, we were getting a little bit like tired of being at home, I guess you could say, towards the end. But in the beginning we were just like so tired that we didn't even care. We were just literally, our whole time was like a blur. I don't even, I was just sleeping, drinking medicine, sleeping, drinking medicine, eating, drinking water like just trying to get better but yeah while we were sick my husband and I actually started watching glow up on Netflix and if you haven't seen it I highly recommend it especially if you like me love makeup it's so good my favorite is Val the judge she's always like ding dong darling I have a terrible <laughs> I have a terrible British accent let me tell you I'm gonna try again ding dong darling ding dong i can't do it but if you have seen the show you know what i'm talking about she is so funny i love her and she's a really 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 talented makeup artist this show it's not like i thought it was going to be like glam soft glam kind of makeup but actually it's more artistic editorial kind of makeup which i never thought that i would be like super interested in but i'm actually very very interested in it and I don't know, it just kind of reinvigorated my love of makeup, my, re-inspired me. It, it got my creative juices flowing. It made me feel excited again to play with makeup because it's not, I don't know, I, like I said, I felt like I was just kind of doing the same makeup over and over. So I felt kind of like in a rut and just out of ideas of how to th make things interesting. There are so many incredible artists, people who are incredibly talented, and I am like nowhere near that caliber of 
talent, obviously, but still, it's really fun to just like play with makeup. Like that's the whole reason why I started this channel is because I literally love makeup. I used to just sit on my bathroom floor like after my kids went to sleep and like put on a whole face of makeup even though I would be going to bed in like an hour because I just loved it so much and still do love it obviously. It was just like so therapeutic for me and relaxing and it was like one of those things where when I was doing my makeup the whole world just melted away and it was just me being able to create it was i don't know how to explain it other than that all right how long have i been here like blending this eyeshadow Jeez, louise yeah comment down below if you feel the same way about makeup like why did you get interested in makeup do you like being creative with makeup or do you just like doing like basic things like are you a more practical kind of person you just want like something to like throw on and just you know, kind of correct your flaws. Why do you do makeup? What's your favorite thing about it? I would love to know. The really cool thing that I love about the show is that it shows you that makeup is more than just makeup. It's literally in an art form. And these people are, you know, they're coming up with concepts. It's not, it's like, what is freedom? Or what is bravery? Or it's something that makes you feel a certain way. It's evocative of an emotion or a memory or a person or something. It, it means something. It represents, oh, sorry, I was like out of focus, but it's art, really. It's like a painting. Like, how does it make you feel? What colors did they use? Why did those colors evoke that certain emotion? Do you get a visceral sort of experience from something? Like, it's, it's just a really, really great show, and it just made me see makeup in a it, in a way that I had already seen it, but like, again, if that makes sense. <laughs> Not just about reviewing products and buying, buying and consuming, consuming, but about creating and having that fun space to just paint, to just <laughs> paint. I was gonna say play and paint, to just play and have fun and paint your face and be someone different and, you know, just whatever. It's just makeup, it comes off. All right, I'm gonna add just a touch of some purple, I think, out here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera because I feel like if I do them talking to you guys, this video is gonna be like a million years long. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows and I just added a little bit of purple liner to the eye look just because I felt like it needed something to kind of ground it. So let's go ahead and move on to the face after like five million hours. I'm going to go ahead and take my Hollywood Flawless Filter just because I haven't used it in a while and I want to get some good use out of it because it's a pretty expensive. So speaking of shows, another really great show that I've been watching with my husband is Only Murders in the Hotel, I think it's called. It's the new show on Hulu with Selena Gomez and... Steve, uh, uh, gosh, what's his name? It's gonna bug me. The guy from Cheaper, the guy from Cheaper Brothers, Steve Martin, that's who it is. It's Steve Martin. <laughs> Steve Martin, the dad from Cheaper by the Dozen, and gosh, who's the other guy? I don't know what his name is, an actor, but he's my favorite character, the theater director. <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> If you haven't watched it, you definitely need to. It's so good. It's, so it's like a murder mystery. So if you like murder mysteries, you would like it. But it's also kind of like a dark comedy, I guess. It has a lot of curse words, which isn't my favorite thing. But other than that, it's pretty clean. There's not a lot of like trash in it. You know, no naked people so far. And not a lot of violence or anything other than like a little bit of blood from the murder, obviously, but it's just so good. All of the characters are so unique and you see how they, how they're so different, but they have something in common that can like bring them together. And I think it's just a really great piece for, you know, our generation, especially if you're a millennial, if you're Gen X, Gen Z, whatever, whatever letter, Sorry guys, the younger generation, you know, I think nowadays 
we're all more connected than ever. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little philosophical here for a second. Don't mind my rambling, but anyway, since we're all like so connected with social media, it's kind of ironic, but somehow I feel like we're all more disconnected and more lonely. I feel like, you know, we kind of use our technology as a shield, if you will, from the outside world. Like if you notice, I think it's the first or second episode, Selena Gomez has sunglasses on, she's wearing her Beats headphones, and she's got her phone. So she's like completely shut off from the outside world. It shows you how people are lonely nowadays and you know, we need to get together. And you might have a lot more in common with someone who you might never ex <laughs> never have expected to have anything in common with, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's just a great show. It's It leaves you like on the edge of your seat. You don't know what's gonna happen. You just fall in love with the characters, you root for them. And the way they like, the cinematography, I guess is what it's called. The animations, the, the way that it's filmed is just so cool and creative and different. So I really like it. If you haven't seen it and if you're looking for a great new show to watch then definitely check it out on hulu and since when does hulu have like a million commercials like aren't you paying for this service why are there a million commercials i've been really wanting to test out the new anastasia beverly hills concealer it's just the shades online look so confusing to me for some reason so i'm really nervous to order it online. I feel like I'm going to have to see the shades in person because the lightest shades look really, really, really light. Even though I am usually the more fairer shades, these ones just look like pale, like white. So I'm nervous to get that. Like I kind of want to get shade eight, but I feel like that might be too dark for me. So I don't know if you are usually a similar shade to me and you have tried the Anastasia, the Anastasia concealer. What shade did you get? I would love to know. Okay, so the only bad thing about this primer, the NYX Proof It primer, is that it's so sticky. If you get it where your concealer is supposed to be, it can kind of make your concealer bunch up a little bit. So you just have to be really careful that you're not putting it in an area where you're going to be putting like foundation or concealer because it doesn't really play well with those products, I feel. Okay, actually, I want to test out a new product with you guys. This is the Bare Minerals Concealer in the shade Well Rested. I don't know if it's going to be too dark for me, but I saw Juicy Jazz here on YouTube talking about it, and she totally influenced me to buy it. So here we are. I am going to take just a tiny bit because I have heard that this stuff is pretty intense gonna like take it on my sponge I guess just a little bit see how it goes oh wait I totally forgot that she doesn't like to use this as a setting powder she likes to put it on top of her usual setting powder so screwed that up oh well I feel like it did add a bit of coverage I'm gonna have to try it on top of a setting powder like she does okay I don't know if I like that with sponge I feel like it's sort of bunching together from the moisture so let's try a brush I don't know if you guys can see but it looks really bunchy right here for some reason it could have just been the way that I applied it I feel like the sponge made it bunch up really weird but yeah it's not looking the best. I'm not going to judge it too hard yet. I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. Let's just keep going with the uh, cultural references here. If you guys are into music and if you have a Spotify account, which you totally should because it's awesome, you should definitely check out my brother. He has a podcast and he makes really, really great playlists on Spotify that you can follow. His most recent one is the Hopeless Romantic. It is so good. 
so good so many good throwbacks it's just amazing he did a really great job every song on the list is is good there's not one song that i like want to skip i'm going to try to wet the sponge with some setting spray and take that under the eyes because it's looking a little bit tragic okay i think it helped a little bit but i think that helped a little bit but i don't know if you can see on camera it just it looks really textured and usually with the concealer that i use i use the thrive cosmetics concealer it's such a lightweight formula it never does that so I don't know if it's a combination of these two products or if I just didn't use this right. It's definitely possible. Like, it's my first time using it, so could have been me. Let's get this moving, guys. I'm just having so much fun chatting with you that I'm, like, taking forever. But my kids are going to get up soon, so I gotta, I gotta keep it moving. Okay, so for bronzer, I wanted to pull out this old Hourglass Ghost palette. I think this was from last year. I really, really loved using this. I don't know if you can tell, but I definitely made a dent in this bronzer shade here. But I just haven't used it in a while, so I wanted to pull it out and give it some love. The only bad thing about this palette is that like the pan sizes are so tiny. If you have a really big brush, you can kind of get two shades by accident, so that kind of stinks. And it's really expensive. This was like $80, I think. Like, I don't even know what I was thinking. If I could go back, I probably wouldn't get it. But since I have it, I definitely want to use it. So are you guys like interested in newer kind of music or do you like listening to music that you used to listen to like when you were younger i was just telling this to my husband the other day i feel like it's so weird because when i was younger my mom would hear like journey come on the radio and she'd be like oh yeah this is my song actually she didn't do that i'm doing a really bad impersonation but you know what i mean like she'd be so excited because it was like oh she used to jam out to this when she was 16 years old going down to whatever and it just brings back all the memories of good old times. Like, I feel like I am now that person. Like, I'm getting to that point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I used to love this song. And I'd freak out. Whereas like when I was in high school, I was just listening to like what was cool at the time or like what was on the radio or like indie stuff that was like still current. So now I'm like going back to like, I don't know, like nostalgic kind of things like early 90s or like late 90s, I guess, late early 2000s. And every time, like Cranberries, like, I don't even, like Alanis Morrison, is that how you say her name? I'm like loving it, I'm TLC. I'm, I'm turning in to my mother. All right, I gotta wipe this foundation off my lips because I look like crazy. So let me do that. Okay, so much better. Now let's go ahead and put some blush. I'm gonna first go in with this Milani Rose Powder Blush in Coral Cove. My under eyes look so bad right now. Like, <laughs> it sucks because I was really liking my eye look, but goodness. Let's just add, let's just add more powder because I mean like, why not? Why not? It can't get it can't get any worse. Maybelline fit me to the rescue, man. Maybelline fit me to the rescue. All right, guys. So my kids are about to get up, so I gotta kind of hurry. Let's speed through this last little bit here. I don't know what I've been doing the last few hours, but it's been fun. All right, you guys, we finally made it. This is the finished look. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. Sorry that I like talked a bunch at the beginning with my eyeshadow and everything and then had to speed up towards the end. I was just so excited to catch up. And yeah, I would love to know how you guys are doing. What have you been watching on Netflix, Hulu? Have you guys had COVID? Do you know anybody that's had COVID that has had COVID? Um, yeah, how, I, I just wanna know, I wanna know how you guys are, so yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.